When I leave Urbana here, I especially learn something new and that I leave with a different mentality back to my hometown. I never would have expected myself to be here. Um, if you had asked me five years ago if I was going to be in ministry or if I was going to be at Urbana, I would have told you no. And I think the story that I could tell to people would just be how God completely won aid my life. I think that story is just more magnificent and it's getting more and more interesting as every day passes. We're at Urbana! And I'm going to be your coach for the week. All right, Urbana, are you ready to get started? We've had the opportunity to just gather together and worship in the languages of everyone. And there's nothing like standing next to my brother and sister who is of a different ethnicity than me and worshiping in their language. Right now they're looking at what that next step is and it's a really critical time to be trying to figure out what God's will might be for your life, whether that means you're integrating missions into some other career or you're looking into a career in mission, period. Um, God can use you either way and will use you in a huge way. God has been doing amazing things, expanding our worldviews and just opening our eyes to what the global church is and how there is a need for us to be part of that. She realized the purpose of her life is to pour out her heart in sacrificial, selfless, satisfying devotion to Christ. We are not watching alone. Jesus stands with us, watches with us. At the end, we will have the victory. Matthew, sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he rose and followed me. God is not looking for spiritual giants. God is looking for those who carry spiritual lands that will shine for him. The direction is scary, you know, where God wants you to be. I'm so used to living comfortable where I could just sit at home and watch TV all day. That's not what I'm called to do as a Christian, you know. I'm supposed to stand up for justice. And that's what this conference has, you know, showed me a lot. For me, with like the technological skill that I've been blessed by God to have, it can be used to impact people's lives. It can be used to change people's hearts and show people God's kingdom. I am with you. It doesn't matter what the cost is. We are family. God is calling me to share my story with other people. I really feel that here in Urbana to have that community and support group. That's important to me because the struggles that we go through, we all need to be together, united as one. You can freely dignify every person because that is what God does. Urbana, the harvest is plenty. But the workers are few. And we are here asking God for more workers. The commitment I feel like God has really called me is definitely going back to my roots, my Latin American roots, and definitely see the issues that are going on there. Like what direction is God leading me in my life? Um, what does he have to say to me? Do I have what it takes to say yes? Wisdom allows mistakes. It also combines learning with prayer, with submission to God and passion to serve others. Brothers and sisters, you and I are called to tell God's beautiful story, not just on our comfortable campuses, not just in our neighborhoods, but also to the ends of the earth. I 
Freedom. Yeah.